Okay, yeah, we can start with uh, intentions and distractions. Mm -hmm. And my intention especially is uh, seeing, go through the board and let's see how we're doing. And yeah, seeing on the issues we have there. Mm -hmm. And I don't have any distractions. Uh, okay, uh, so, <laughs> so my intentions, uh, my intentions are just to uh, sync with you and go through the uh, things that we listed in the agenda. And um, but I wanted to add, yeah, yeah, uh, maybe we can discuss the transparency medium uh, article because I'm kind of stuck there and I might need your ideas and help already. <laughs> and then um, my distraction, distraction is just um, I still have a lot of um, Twitter uh, uh, stuff to do after this call. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I, I I try to focus on transparency. Okay. Yeah, so I can okay. yeah, I can share my screen. Okay. Uh, and then we start with uh first point. Okay, we we'll start with the oh uh, we were just saying uh, intentions and distractions <laughs> for the call one. Maybe if you want to go, we just finished. Hello, Seb, hello mm -hmm. Ivy. Um, yes, I am a little bit distracted because like this weekend was a little bit moved for, um, like uh, within personal issues, but um, my intention is to help and to be active in this call and also to, to review the, the, the transparency medium blog post that I think it's, it's uh, coming along really, really well. Awesome. Uh, well, I just added that uh, point on the agenda, so we can start with the uh, with this document. Uh, actually, I, I was talking with uh, Livy about the the recordings, uh, but because I, I was also talking with Nate. Oh, I already had too much us. The thing is, uh, if we want to make it. Uh, like regenerative and sustainable, we should uh, encourage working groups to do the recording themselves. I mean, of course, we can just uh, give. I mean, I could still record when needed, and but the the main idea is to make or at least having more recorders or something like that. Because uh, yeah, who it is right now? I mean, for example, if I mean, I think it will also improve after Hatch when there is rewards, but. Uh, yeah, the idea is if if I leave or you leave, I be there is not much people who would taking this. And if we think as a community this is an important thing to do, we choose uh, we should. I think we should like we like the same way we encourage to working groups to do the audits. We should encourage them to have the the recordings. Uh, but we will discuss this on the on the two hours calls. We will just were discussing it a bit with Libby, and yeah, we both agree like the. Like it should be more. Um, uh, I don't know the word, but yeah, more uh, sustainable. Somehow. Like the idea is, like I mean, it, it's not hard to do the recording. I mean, people, especially when they are already in the call, is just press a button and just do it. And yeah, and that would be super cool. And and yeah, for this week. I guess you are doing this one, Ivy, and you are also doing. Do you want to do legal this week, right? Um, I actually wanted to talk to you uh, about it oh, because okay. I'm I'm currently yeah. in an island, and um, it's my friend's birthday on Friday, so I might uh don't I might not have time, yeah. but I'm planning to maybe we can switch. I can cover one of the calls for you, and then you cover the legal call. Like, uh, uh, yeah, I can cover the communications call. Okay, yeah, perfect. I mean, if, if you want to be there, uh, I also want to be there. So, I mean, if you want to go on recording, that's fantastic. But, okay. yeah, so up to you. I mean, I don't want you to feel obligated to go to, uh, to a call. <laughs> I, I could just cover you in legal and... And yeah, but yeah, mm -hmm. up to you. Do you want to be there? Yeah, yeah, I can, uh, I can record it. I okay. mean, I can um, stay up late for that, so you can cover legal. 
And um, and since one is okay. here, I... yeah, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to say again that I don't, I don't want you to feel obligated. If you want to be there, fantastic. And if you don't, yeah, just that. That's <laughs> okay. Yes, I, as I was saying, okay. um, since one is here, I wanted to ask him if uh, what happens because the graviton training is um finished. So, um, what happens in this time slot? That's true. The graviton. Well, um, my my idea is to have a, 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 a like to return as the working group sessions that we had earlier. Um, but I don't know if we will stay in the same uh, schedule. I I wanted to make a doodle to see if uh, like people wanted to stay there. So uh, maybe um, I can confirm this, but um, I think that maybe for this week, we can keep that schedule. And if uh, it's changed, I'll, I will uh, like notice it with time. Okay, so, awesome. um, so I'm just gonna update also the title of this um, meeting in the calendar, one? Yeah. For this week. Yeah, it's... Uh, Gra graviton, uh, not gravity, Gra gravity solamente. It, oh, gravity working group? Yeah, gravity working group, all right. But the it's going to be at the same time, right? Yes, okay. yes. I will make uh, it a little for, for next session. All right, thanks. Awesome, okay. Uh, next point. Yeah, you add this, Ivy, how to incentivize working groups participating in the audit. I think that's a, for, for me, it has to be a, a cultural thing. Like this working actually, groups have, yeah? Uh, this is actually from our conversation with Nate um, last week. If you remember, we were um, doing the transparency audit with him and then he mentioned uh, this and I thought um, maybe we can talk about it uh in this call or if it's gonna be a long discussion then um yeah i don't know if you want to have another call for it or do you want to talk about it now i mean yeah we, we can go on our own and, and then uh, i'll write what uh, yeah uh, yeah uh, why don't you start first one Uh, like, how, uh, how would you incentivize working groups to participate in the, in the audit? Uh, you, you're muted, Juan. Maybe giving some impact hours? for filling the, the, the audit. And um, I think like the, the incentive of doing it, of doing this more, more than a reward that we may receive is like um, the acknowledgement of, of um, that we are encouraging uh, the, the mutual accountability and that we are um, following our agreements. Uh, who do you post to? Ivy. Yeah, my first idea is also just to give um impact hours for fitting uh for completing the audit. But I'm also curious about POWAPs, how they work. Because <laughs> um Graviton had uh, had it and then um Common Simulator had it. So I don't know if this badges would also work for doing the transparency <laughs> audit. And Super what's easy. the and That's what's the idea. what's the um effect or what would they get from getting the co ops? Because I don't know how it works, so I but I thought it might be it might be impossible. Yeah, no, the the co ops is just like a certificate that is on the blockchain. So like what we get is like something that will never change that 
states what we did. So yeah, I think it's really good to have like uh, pops for the audits. That that's a really great idea because in that way we can have like a following a follow up of the activities that that uh, and the and the audits that has been done and who has participated in them. So um because we uh because we we do the audit for working group right but not everybody um fills out the form. So who would receive the POAP if we do that? I think that it would be the steward of each working group or the stewards. Okay. I, I'm confused because when, when we were writing the mutual accountability thing, uh, we were saying like the audit could be made by the steward or a, or a contributor. It doesn't matter who it is. but an active contributor, of course, not, not one that just joined a, a few calls, but someone who is regularly there. For example, let's say Mateo is not a steward, but if he could, uh, if he wanted to do the soft cop audit, I think he could perfectly do his on every call and he's there all the time on soft cop. So yeah, I feel it. I feel this way. Uh, for me, I think it's more like a, Cultural build and uh, fuck that's errors cool okay I think it's more like a, a cultural build and I mean I, I feel it will be more important like after fast so uh, when uh, working groups ask for funds uh, if they have the the audit. Is uh, five points. I mean, yeah, when they ask for funds, uh, I'll just play, explain it. Uh, wait. When, when they ask for funds, if they have a, a red uh, score, maybe the community won't fund them. Uh, but it's more like a um, a recognition uh, and yeah of course like the the participating on the audit are going to have impact hours i also feel that way like they would use their time they, they are going to get praise for that yeah okay, so i though, think mm -hmm. so how do we decide on this one do we go through the forum voting and ask them how they want to be in how they want to get incentivized or do we just um decide is a transparency working group or what, what, what do you want to decide i mean how what will be our process in incentivizing because we presented um several options impact hours do we do all of this or we just choose um one or two from what we re, uh, from our ideas. I mean, re, uh, regard, I think more or less we are doing all of those except the POAS, who, who I also don't know how to integrate them. But yeah, yeah, when when people were doing the audit, we were giving them praise and uh, yeah, we're creating that this cultural build. Uh, yeah, I think we are something we should change. Yeah, uh, we, we can discuss it. But mm -hmm. I feel uh, we almost do all of those except the, the POAPs. And if, uh, yeah, Juan or you have any good idea of how to integrate them, yeah, we just do it. I don't think we need to vote for that. I don't know how to do the POAP, so. <laughs> Um, I can help you with the pops. It's super easy, super, super easy. And yeah, I think that the one that should receive the pop should be like the person that does the audit, like representing the working group. And um, as well, I, I think um, with, with Septimus that um, maybe it would be um, too much if, if we make another vote like we already did one vote to, to um, 
for people to approve um, the mutual accountability mechanisms. And I think that with that vote, we already have like um, the 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 um, the representation and the capability to, to take certain decisions without having uh, to consult other people. And that is like the autonomy a little bit of the working group. So I think that it's it should not need a vote um, to, to, to play these in the incentivized mechanisms. I think we can start doing them. And if people don't like them, we can have um, like feedback but I think that we don't need to to make a for uh, like a vote for for this, uh, and also as Septimus said, like we are already making the the um, the thing of the cultural build and also giving impact hours. So maybe um, the thing of the pop will be like uh, an addition, and for sure I can I can send you the link. It's super easy. I will copy it in the in the agenda. Thank you, Juan. OK. Uh, yeah, I think we can jump to the next point. That is the board. Uh, I, I actually today closed the uh, the mutual accountability issue. Uh, did you have the chance to read it, uh, finalize, Ivy? The, which one? The article? I, I just read it. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm just asking if you had the chance to read it. Yeah, I read it in the on uh, the forum and I <laughs> voted. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. awesome. Uh, um, okay, uh, yeah, this, this one we're pretty much doing it every week and it's going pretty well. Uh, okay, regarding the transparency audit, uh, I also was talking with Libby and uh, the thing we are going to do is uh, post the audit uh, through advice process and then we are going to, yeah, we, together with the decision tracking, we are going to make a, a list of the working groups here and prepare this document. So every time uh, there is um, an audit, for example, let's say transparency, I mean, we, we still have to create this, but the idea is to, on this sheet, have organized all the audits with the links of every forum post. So what we mostly are going to be doing is, uh, yeah, make the, the adv advice process a section and we just post the audits there. And then we just uh, separately on this sheet, we gather the, the control of the, the, I mean, the organization of all the, like, like a database. And, okay, regarding updated roadmap, I think we can close this one, right? We updated it on the manifesto, if I remember well. Yeah, we, you can close that one. We updated it. Okay. Awesome. Uh, okay. Um, so Zeb, uh, so the... do you need? Uh, just gonna go back to the um decision tracking document. Do you need um, uh -huh. help from me to uh, fill this yeah, out? I think, too? I think we can just, yeah, do it. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty fast. And yeah, it would be cool to do it together since we both are going to work on, on this. Like, we make the, the, oh, the name there. Like, the, we build the interface. No, if that's a correct word. But then, yeah. I think we can do it like in 10, 20 minutes uh, okay. when we do our, our work says uh, this week. Mm, sure. And then at the, sa and the same, on the same time, we, we can upload the, the transparency audit we did last week. And then, yeah, we invite the community to join the advice process and, yeah, uh, 
Yeah, let's see how, how it works. Like if the community gets engaged or not. Yeah, we can just play around a bit and see how the the community uh, how the community do with this. So the advice process doesn't have to be posted on Friday, not like the uh, form voting. No, no, no. We can post it anytime. Not okay. Really. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, I think that's that's all that is for board. Fill out the skill for record. Uh, yeah, don't, don't. Okay, yeah, we just have these two issues for the sprint that we are mostly be completing them. So I guess, yeah, the next point is review the medium post. Oh, and we also covered this one. I wanted to speak about this, but yeah, it's, it's the it's the spreadsheet I just mentioned. So yeah, I think like the last thing we should we can do is uh, yeah review the medium post and if needed we can hack on it together. We have like forty minutes to work on it and yeah I think that's a good time to do it. Okay, um, I just pasted the the link of the um POAP, of the POAP creation page and it's really easy. You uh, press like create new POAP and after you create the POAP um. You uh, will have to like fill all the all, all the information. In, then you will receive the the links to claim. So it's a super super easy process. Awesome! Thank you, Juan. Thank you. Okay, do you want to share screen, Ivy, and, and we'll hack on the... Okay. I don't know how to share screen when recording. The document? Okay, wait. Um... You muted. Sorry. Uh, I don't know how... Wait, let me try to share screen. Or we can just... Maybe, Maybe I can share screen. Uh, yeah. I can share yeah. screen as well. <laughs> I already have the, the document open. Okay. Awesome. Um, so Where's yeah, the we're document? there. Uh, so the introduction part, I'm really stuck here because I don't know what I, I can talk about transparency so yeah if you could help me out what else to write there and how to lead it to the uh yeah <laughs> to make it uh sound um or to have like a deeper um thoughts or yeah <laughs> uh but uh, well i uh, don't know uh this part in red, do you mean? Um, although, yeah, I'm sorry, I have to, uh, because I mark it red because that's where I stop. But yeah, we can, uh, including okay. the first paragraph. But the first paragraph is somehow already um, built. So the red mm -hmm. one is something that I don't know how to continue anymore. <laughs> yeah. will trust and commitment. That's and it's like people are providing. the idea is not really clear there and in this paragraph i wanted to talk about why or how transparency is important in dao so one is it builds trust so that's one thing and yeah. when um when people are when we are transparent um and when we trust each other you know people get more committed to the DAOs and then mm -hmm. when people are committed to the DAOs more things get done you know because they know that um yeah that uh that this DAO is trustworthy and they want to make it succeed so that's the only that's one of the importance that's one importance that I could think of but um yeah if you can um, if you have other ideas or suggestions about the role of um, transparency in DAOs, and let's um, drop 
them there and yeah maybe i can just um write more explanation about it well i feel like you with i mean transparency it's like you covered it they covered it all like the most important thing is our transparency is like uh like you said before it helps the community to be more trustworthy and also like uh, it uh, it makes more commitment on the on the contributors and and yeah the work is going to be done by contributors and and we uh, enhance the mutual monitoring uh Austrian principle and i think that's the most important thing yeah i just don't know how to um bridge it to the to the awesome uh, principle just because i just put it out there so I, it's like i wanted to um mention it specifically in this paragraph not just like a a, a, a quote at the middle so i don't know how to integrate this principle in that um paragraph and that's something that i want that's what i was trying to do here but i was stuck <laughs> It's like I was just running around circles, and uh, it maybe I don't make sense anymore. But actually, like, uh, yeah, I, I remember uh, reading this uh, last week. But yeah, it's it's quite more long now. So uh, yeah, did, did you in, and I know like Juan also was working on this. Did, did you integrate both of your points or? or? Or it is it's all from you are until this point. Sorry, Zeb, you were um, coming off. After the the um when it says like in info availability, trust level and sovereignty, I oh. made like a, a paragraph. Awesome. Okay, I have uh, like um, a suggestion, and is to search how many times are we using the word transparency or the word uh, truth or the word DAO? Because even though that we are talking about transparency and in DAOs, it may be uh, like too much if we if we repeat these words. So it would be more easier for the people to to understand when when uh these keywords are only placed like in the in in, in the key places so um yeah, yeah we, we will need to review also how many times are we are we repeating these words to make some sense but this is like something of of uh, like the last touches and also i think that the idea that is in the red paragraph is really good it needs to be like a little bit more organized but i understand what i was trying to say that uh, maybe between the first paragraph and the quote there needs to be like a bridge and i think that this paragraph serves as a bridge but um it it, it needs a little bit like more polishing yeah uh, that's uh, i, okay, I think what we there. can what we can do is, yeah, because I mean, right now I, I really need to, to read it because I'm not like fully, I, did, I didn't fully read this article yet. I remember I read the, the old one. So what I think what we could do is, yeah, we just hack on it silently. And, and after, I don't know, let, let's say we hack on it 20 minutes. And, and then on the last 10 minutes, we, we sync. And yeah, maybe it's almost, I mean, I feel like it's almost ready. So yeah, we just uh, hack on it. And, and yeah, we just, uh, yeah, uh, we just do it silently so we can work better. And the last 10 minutes we just think. What do you guys think? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Awesome, let's go.
Um, I have a question. This without monitoring, this is not a principle? This is not one of the principles from governing the commons? Is it just a quote from the book? Or it, it is a principle. And yeah, it is a principle. Which... Uh, which it's principle? Oh, but we also have the fourth one here at the and page on the second page. So what's the exact um I think wording? yeah we're talking about about the same, right? I mean that's just a quote, that's not a principle. Uh, th this is not a principle. Mutual monitoring uh, is a principle and this is a quote from mutual monitoring. Oh, okay. So both of these um, statements are uh, related to the fourth principle. Yes. Okay, I understand. I think that uh, the second one is the is is the one that is, is textually the one that that appears in the in the book as a principle. So maybe we we can leave just like the second one. Then we will remove the first one without monitoring. Because in the article, I added two quotes from Eleanor Ostrom. Mm -hmm. So I thought, uh, yeah, I, I, I know that the second one, the second page, this is the fourth principle because I got it from one of your comments. So these are the mm -hmm. exact words of the fourth principle oh. in the second page. So the first, in the first page, the quote here is... Um, that's what I asked about if it's also a principle or it's just a quote from the um from the book. But um one no, said that's not, that's not the and they just so uh where did this come from? The second quote. Uh I think that the first quote is also from the book. Actually, it's like in one of the first pages. Mm -hmm. I think we can, uh, um, but it relates to the fourth principle, right? This um, quote. Yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah, I, I think I, the, I, I hear my vote. I'm oh, sorry. I, I hear my vote. Uh, okay. Uh, no, I can hear myself. Maybe it's one. Okay. Uh, I yeah, I, I lose the flow. Uh, <laughs> let me think. Yeah, I, I like uh, what transparency is doing. It uh, promoting the fourth principle. Like there is eight of them, but on transparency, we are promoting the fourth one. Uh, yeah, the rest of the principles are. Uh, are done by Softgroup, Gravity, uh, yeah, other working groups. We're just working so hard on this one. And I think like both quotes are related to uh, the same principle. Okay, then let's just, maybe we can um, use this, the first quote and yeah, just leave it there. I found it. The one that says without monitoring, there cannot be credible commitment. Without credible commitment, there is no reason to propose new rules. So maybe what I think is that we can integrate this paragraph into the paragraph that is in red, not putting it as a quote, but maybe like integrating that idea into the paragraph so that we only have the quote that is uh, on, on the principle. Yeah, yeah. I, I like this idea. It's up to the writer. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, uh, I, I really like to uh, use in quotes. I mean, it, but yeah, uh, it's up to you guys. You guys are who are writing this, and yeah, up to you. But uh, I really like uh, saying the people who wrote. Just yeah, just, I don't know. It's just a personal thing, but yeah, up to you. Um, so aside from building trust and commitment and um, monitoring, can you do you have any other ideas why uh, how transparency is important, or should we just no, focus I, on on? Yeah, I, I feel those are the ones, and, and and yeah, and a huge one. It's like not very little. I there is a lot of work there. So yeah, I feel, feel that's a, a huge task. Yeah. Just focus on monitoring and uh and building trust and commitment. Yeah, mutual monitoring. Don't say monitoring, it's Mutual like monitoring. imposing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah.
There is a quote from, uh, uh, yeah, the, the, I don't know how to say it, but I'm, I'm rephrasing this part of the, the this paragraph, and I want to say, uh, monitoring and uh, reviewing the audits uh, as a transparency working group. We want like the community do it because if the transparency is doing it, uh, the problem would be like the other working group will be just trusting transparency doing his work and then it wouldn't be uh, monitoring through the community. Like for example, uh, if Gravity to do the audit uh, and transparency is checking it, then the people from through onboarding or any other working group are not going to check it because they trust transparency. But at the but the idea is uh, like the whole community and yeah, it's the it's very important to make it regenerative and sustainable and not giving transparency uh, too much power on doing it so because yeah, it would it would create another thing that's not mutual monitoring. But uh, I don't know how to write this.
I like that one, you, uh, what you're writing, Septimus, like to ensure the community is monitoring itself. That's the idea, the community monitoring itself. Maybe we can like highlight that. I'm also trying to add in the last uh, part of the paragraph what you, Zep, were trying to say. So you can check it. In the same paragraph where you were um, editing. Hello? Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> I thought you could. This whole time. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I think uh, this is very important, like uh, the community is monitoring itself and uh, I was just reading it, the transparency of Gnub is not so responsible for the other. Oops. Keeping it. Keeping it uh, accountable. And transparent. But... Uh, transpa <laughs> yeah, transparent. Yeah, yeah. And accountable, or maybe like this. Uh, in this part, instead of saying like transparency is not so responsible for the others, I, I instead to say what is not, I like to say what it, it is. Uh, I feel it's more like a, like the idea is like we we yeah we try to help the community to uh, reach this point of uh, it m monitoring it itself. Uh, I don't know who uh, is. Who delete one little? We I, I, I think that the transparency uh, working group serves as a facilitator for this yeah. practice. Exactly, exactly. Exactly, that's a word. Facilitator for this practice. Pero, coma, but as a centralized organization. Oh no, más bien, but, más bien puede ser, um, serves as a facilitator for, for, for Easing, I oh know, facilitator easing up uh, for this practice. But we are talking about the audit here, so maybe you can just say, um, sort of facilitator for this audit, but, but as a decentralized organization, every member is encouraging one another and do their part in keeping it transparent. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are almost on the off the top of the hour. Uh, I think yeah, we just uh, ended polishing on on our work session next uh, Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know. Just add it on the calendar and make it open. Maybe Juan want to join as well. Uh, and yeah, I think I think it's pretty polished. Uh, it's it's just some tweaks we have to do there. But it's, I don't know, I, I, I feel it's pretty good. Okay.
Well, do you have any time preference for the um, work session on Wednesday or Thursday? No, not really. Make it up to you. Okay. Like for me, morning for good uh, or yeah, whenever. Maybe uh, maybe one have uh, some preferences, but for me, uh, yeah, it was fine. Okay, I just create an, a calendar and send you the invite. Okay, awesome. All right. <laughs> yeah, I think we can close it here. Thank you so much, guys. And yeah, we are advancing. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Seth. Thank you, Ivy. And Thanks also, so let's Seth. share the document uh, with uh, Marco and with Jessica because they, they are really good, like um, giving these final touches. So, yes, it's all, it would also be really good. Uh, Maybe oh, we can Tam, do... Tam also um, asked, uh, told me that um, she's, uh, she can also do a review. But uh, I want us to clean it first before we share it with them. So okay. it won't yeah, be awesome. too hard for them to Th do. Then it would be better to share it in the stewards group so that anyone can like ad uh, advise and review it. Yeah, after we finish reviewing it, by ourselves, we just can drop it there and tag uh, Jess, Tam, and Marco. Uh, yeah, just they to read it, and if they uh, are happy with all what's said, or if they want to make any changes, yeah, we just uh, gather the feedback and then we just post it on the on the mailing. I think that's a yeah, very good idea. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you Thanks so everyone. much. Bye bye. Bye.